given Horton and Tony uh, and Hallie's uh, Tony nominations, um, we're, we're starting a little bit by um, talking about your experience with that award that some covet and some perhaps have, uh, <laughs> have a different viewpoint on it. Oh, but you were nominated for twice now, Los. Can you talk about the productions? For Grapes of Wrath and for Barry Child, both started at Steppenwolf and came to Broadway. And well, you know, given the world we live in, it certainly is, uh, I guess, a nice thing to be nominated for a Tony. I mean, everybody feels that way because of the competitiveness and the awards happy, you know, put it on your resume stuff. I certainly wish Horton and Hallie a Tony this year. It seems to me it should be the foot year. <clears throat> on the other hand, I don't care. I mean, I think in the long run, that's not what's important. I know it's, it, it doesn't that sound gooky, <laughs> but really, <clears throat> it's the it's the uh, it's the beautiful work and that you, excites me. And did you feel that way when you did uh, the the Steinbeck, John Steinbeck with Frank Galati oh, and the Sam Shepard? Uh, and what I guess I felt mostly I felt the. Oh, Michael, I don't think I should talk about this. I, I remember how long, with Grapes of Wrath especially, which was my first exposure to the Tonys at all, we had a matinee that day. First of all, I got dressed up pretty and went to a pre-thing, I think it was at Jerry Schoenfeld's house. I don't forgotten the order, it's a long time ago. And then Ma Jode and we played a matinee. And then back into, uh, party clothes. That, that's, oh, that's when the Schoenfeld thing was, after that. Then to the theater where we'd had, maybe there was a rehearsal in the morning, maybe that was it. It was awful. I mean, I, I found it awful. I was back and forth, I was confused. I was in a huge theater I didn't know and trying to creep my way. I have a poor sense of direction, you know, through these backstage alleys and finding my way. Then, because I was uh, the first, I think, the first, you know, featured actress is often first, uh, I had to stay in my Majo uh, costume and just go to the wings instead of getting back to my seat dressed up besides my lovely daughter who was waiting for me in the seat. <laughs> and stand there like this and then back out to join the audience after having got into the dressing room and changed my clothes. This is not, I, I, I didn't find it fun. I was found it tiring and- uh, Work. You got it, man, work. And did you feel uh, pressure also from the producers that, that in a way what you were doing was, it's marketing the show? You, of course it is. Shows need marketing. One, I, one doesn't complain about that. I, I may complain a little, but of course, one does it and it's not, I don't mean to sound so holy, it's not holy. I, am I not happy I have two Tony nominations to write down and say she got two Tony nominations? But in a way, it doesn't make me particularly elated. Well, um, well, well. What, what maybe does feel make you feel elated? <laughs> Let me ask you, talk to you, what, what, can you think back to working with Tennessee Williams and North is descending. Is there anything about that experience that you might share? I mean, you've had such an amazing career on stage, on screen, and he's been one of our more celebrated playwrights here at Hartford Stage, certainly. Very wonderful. You know, he was with us too. This was exciting. It was really exciting. Um, I know. I mean, the pleasure of working with a wonderful living playwright and that, that collaboration is just, you know, that's it. That's where the gold is. I mean, it doesn't, it's not always a playwright, but I had been very fortunate, you know, Tennessee and, and Horton, of course. And then it, the same thing is true of directors, like this one. And um, 
you know, there is something wonderful about starting with this play and that that's new and that he just wrote and he's there with you. That's just wonderful. And Orpheus Descending had been a reworking of Battle of Battle Angels. Battle of Angels, yes. Which he had tried to do with Margaret Webster uh, as director years ago. And right. so he was reworking it with Harold Thurman. And right. Oh, there were many, there uh, were many, little many, many difficulties stories. of all kinds, sure. you know, which I won't tell you all about. But, but working with a playwright is terrific. Let's go to Horton Foot. Um, mm. we've, we've talked about the Tony nominations and the the glamour and the glitz and the, the, sh the mindset, glare of that. The mindset. Yes, but <laughs> yes. when you first <clears throat> met and worked with Wharton, it was at the 50 seat uh, Ensemble Studio Theater. Right, the yes, the, the one I play called The Man Who Tra Climbed the Pecan Trees, and I worked with his son Horton in it. And uh, that was, yes, that was the first time I worked with Horton. And he was there. He was the, there. I think at one. Did he direct it as well? No, he did not direct it. Kurt Dempster did. I think at uh -huh. one. Horton has told me more than once about being thrown out of rehearsal by Kurt, which is appalling. Horton, of all people, who is a, a shining light in rehearsal. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was the first time he, and he was, it was lovely. I remember, that is also a long time ago, but his sitting there in that little space and uh, and beaming his rays of love and support, which are hard to match. And did you feel that those rays of love and support again when you took on one of his greatest characters, Mother Watts? In the trip to Bountiful? In the trip to Bountiful? More than ever in my life. Uh, it's, it's a kind of Max, when I was talking about it the other day, called it grace, and there's no doubt about it. Y you are enveloped in the grace of this, in the unusual grace of this most unusual man and writer. And it was a blessing, which I'm so grateful for, these last few years of being working closely with Horton in a Adventure that was most exciting, and and though it was a more than fifty-year-old play, it became it became new in many ways. Not just that any production is new, but it was newly worked by Horton as well. It became uh, a, an intermissionless ninety-minute piece instead of a three-act play. It's astonishing when I think about that, how it was written and what what happened in our production. It was thrilling. And it was extended several times and played for several months off-Broadway and then was revived a year later. In a Horton Broadway. Festival at the Goodman Theater in Chicago, which and I'm so it? grateful that happened because they not only did our production of Bountiful moved from, oh, 160, 60 seats or whatever to over 800. But it, that was a scary thought and it worked. It worked and worked. It more than worked. That was great. So and they there. And yes, and then they did two other plays of Horton's in the smaller theater and many events uh, about him, with him, with others, uh, panels, movies. It was just grand. <laughs> Did, weren't you happy for Horton that the Goodman Theater of all theaters in America stepped up and gave you that bet. Lesson? <laughs> yes. I do remember Bob Falls telling me when you and Hallie won the Jefferson Award for your performances in Trip to Bountiful, he said, Michael, you don't understand. It's so much harder to win a Jefferson Award than it is to get a Tony Award. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't keep track. <laughs> but yeah, yes. Yes, I am very glad about that. Um, I know you're approaching half hour, uh, and I, but I wanted to ask you, uh, you're just newly stepped in to Horton's, what was his last Broadway play during his lifetime, Dividing the Estate. What is, what is that feeling like, stepping into a different character from Mother Watts altogether? But I, feel, I feel very fortunate to be able to do this. It is, uh, I, it was fast, of course, and I often feel like I'm, I don't know, working sideways. It's a strange way to enter a play and a role so that I'm, 
Um, it's been fun and exciting and the cast and you and everybody has been more than generous and welcoming but still I often feel that I'm here I am doing this but I haven't done this you know and uh, still doing that right. <laughs> anyway I'm very lucky to be able to do it we're very grateful now. thank you thank I'm very grateful too Horton. hey Horton Yay. thank you thank you Wallace. thank you so much